Greetings, assemblers! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Now, the road to the Avengers is a long and winding one, with many possible outcomes. Such is today's subject, the animated feature Ultimate Avengers. Released straight to DVD in 2006, Ultimate Avengers is loosely based on the Ultimates line of comics. A disparate bunch of incredibly powerful people are brought together to fight the foes that no single one of them could withstand. Which is pretty much the Avengers origin story, whatever form it's presented in. But the craft, my friends, is always in the telling of the tale. With this in mind, grab your shield, strap on your repulsors, call down the thunder and get ready for the rip-roaring ride that is... Ultimate! Avengers! It's 1945, and US forces are closing in on a secret Nazi superweapon. Now, I would say that it's more than Nazis that these GIs have to worry about, but I'd be giving away the plot. Fashionably late, Captain America shows up to the party. Inside the base, Cap discovers the super weapon and more besides. Captain America, our fortunes have crossed yet again. Kleiser. Spoiler alert! Kleiser is not human. <laughs> But the super weapon launches, and Cap's hitching a ride. Don't try that one at home, kids. Cap drops a present in the Bombay and drops into the drink. But he's presumed dead and left in the ice. That I couldn't see you one last time. Now, this would be the point where we'd have a moment for Cap. But you and I both know that he doesn't die here, so let's just move on. S.H.I.E.L.D. director Nick Fury finds a capsicle somewhere deep in an ocean glacier. I... I think we found something. Where? The frozen remains are brought to New York. Where we meet again our old friend Dr. Bruce Banner. In the rebirth chamber. It's what administers the serum. Any questions not about the Hulk? Ah, come on, Doc. Spill for the audience. We do so love our stories. But shock! Cap's alive! <laughs> and unfortunately disoriented, which is bad news for the security. Luckily, Cap soon catches up. Did... did we win? We did. Now in the original comics, Cap was frozen in the 40s and thawed out again in the 60s. A time gap of only about 20 years. And the greatest technological advancement then was the colour television. This movie came out in 2006, and it implies that Cap was thawed out in the early 2000s. A lot more technological, and a lot more disorienting for a 1940s kind of guy. And just in time, as the Chaitori, a vengeful extraterrestrial race, don't want to be tracked. Fury's superiors order Project Avenger into action. But they're civilians, super-powered showboaters. And we meet our protagonists. Cap goes to visit an old friend. Now, Cap. What do you hear from the guys? I guess it's no life being a man out of time. Happy Viking was unavailable for comment. 
He must have really caned it at Magfest. And we meet our final protagonist, Thor, God of Thunder. And Captain, you are well, I hope. As Guardian Mead, Nectar of the Gods. So what do you say? This. <coughs> the mighty Thor, ladies and gentlemen. A boorish, mead-swilling hippie. <laughs> We're seriously all doomed. You seen that hammer? On the right back, Cap learns the horrible truth about Bruce Banner. By Bruce Banner, every time he finds himself even a little upset, that beast comes out. The madder he gets, the stronger he gets. But the Chaitori are not sitting still. <laughs> and so the team is called to their first mission. Approximately 20 minutes ago, a high-security shield facility was breached by a Shatari alien. Glad you could join us. It is not a success. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Bench your most powerful player. Those are your orders. Nothing. Jim! Janet! Pilefinder. No, Iron Man. Stay in position. They're going to get us killed. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why the X-Men spend so much time in their danger room. Plotting, planning, preparing for every eventuality, making sure that they're coordinated, that they work as a team. This lot, they were just thrust into the situation and they got shown up. We need a Legion danger room. I got no use for hotshot amateurs. You're fired, Pim. Captain, where are you going? Captain! It's the leader that feels his team's failures most keenly. I remember my first command. It's just before I started. In light of this, Fury orders Banner to go ahead with the backup plan. 12? Well, isn't that rushing it a bit? Banner, are you ready or aren't you? I am. I'll get right on it. But the backup plan was a front. Banner's real plan all along was to control the beast within. It worked. Betty, see? I told you. None of which is fending off the Chaitori, who attack. They made a mistake in angering the Hulk. I need to go, Benny. Get to safety. And nothing pulls a team together like disaster. Who's the chick with the hammer? Whoever she is, I'm glad she's on our side. She? She? Are you pair blind? Or are you talking about the long hair? Don't get me started on that madness. Oh no. But there's still the little matter of the Hulk. You did it. And after a knockdown drag out fight. You're still a little man, Banner. Now knock it off or I'm gonna squish you. It's beauty that calms the beast. Hulk, Hulk. it's okay. I need you to stop fighting. And so our movie ends with the formation of Marvel Earth's premier super team. Those hotshots actually pulled it together. Yes, they did. They had a great leader. But we haven't seen the last of the monstrous Chaitori. They return in the sequel, Ultimate Avengers 2 Rise of the Black Panther, which we may yet get to some other time. For now, though, that was Ultimate Avengers. And 
Well, it's not without flaw. I'm still going to put it into the House of Love. The main problem with this movie is, again, Orochinitis. It tries to cram the formation, dissolution and renaissance of the Avengers into little more than an hour. Where it does work though, is in its action scenes, clear, fluid and dynamic, especially during the one-on-one -on -one battles. And the characters are, for the most part, likeable enough. Focused soldier cap, lovable jerk giant man, less lovable jerk iron man, overly Russian black widow, and, as ever, Banner's tragic Hulk. The pace is breathless, events piling up on one another until they get to the Hulk fight at the end, which is slightly overlong. Still, for all its faults, the designs are good, the animation is at least decent, and the story holds up well. And it could have been a lot worse. And how could it have been worse? Well, I don't want to think about it. Instead, I'll sign off in the usual way. But before I do, I feel I must apologise if I've been a bit off today. You see, I've been battling through a cold. It's been a bit cold out and... Well, you get the idea. Anyway, thanks for watching and join me next week for more fun and frolics. Dismissed, soldiers!